Well, here's the non-coronavirus story that's making me a little bit nervous uh. here. A swarm of bees taking one Syracuse family by surprise. They say it took just minutes for them to show up by the thousands. And for now, it's taken the family's trampoline out of commission. Northern Utah specialist Mike Anderson explains what might be obvious, why beekeepers say it's important to get them out of there fast. <laughs> It takes one beekeeper and a shop vac to do what many of us would be terrified to even think about. I just thought it was crazy. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. Joanna Plant says she and her family were setting up a picnic lunch out front Tuesday. We came back and the kids were just yelling, Mom, Dad, come here. So we came to the back door, we looked in our backyard and it was swarming with bees everywhere. And she says they just kept on coming. Within 30, 40 minutes, they had all formed and made this big hive. <laughs> it was nuts. No real clue where they came from. Something uh -huh. might hit their hive. That's where Rodney Marchant comes in. This is their new home. He's one of about 45 beekeepers spread across Davis County. When a problem shows up, one of them come over to collect. They'll be in a hive, and if the hive gets too small for the amount of bees that are in there, the worker bees will actually stop feeding the queen so that she'll lose weight and be able to fly long distances. He says a quarter of the bees or more will leave to form a new hive. Places like the plant's trampoline, he says, are just temporary staging areas. There are about 15 to 20,000 bees in that swarm. Marchant says it's not unusual to find one that size, but he says you want to catch them before they find a more permanent place to set up. Hopefully we catch them at that stage, because if we don't catch them, that's when they move into the soffits of houses, or they move into walls, or they move into somebody's shed. A lot tougher to get them out once they've settled in somewhere. Meantime, a small number of scout bees are still hanging around the plant's trampoline. We do need to get a bigger trampoline so we can get rid of it. <laughs> Perfect excuse. <laughs> you right? Unfortunately, they say a replacement trampoline isn't so easy to find right now with so many kids stuck at home. For now, they're having to leave it alone, be patient, and be safe. In Syracuse, Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News.